Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And those are my two dust pans, and I'm going to use them. I've shaken my paint. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. I've shaken my paint, and I'm going to use quite a bit of it. I'm thinking I want a different dish for this. Let's see if I've got one that'll actually help me hold more paint. I think that will work. We'll see. <laughs> I guess I can stick something under the front of it too. There we go. Just something so I can put my paint in there. And I'm going to use a smaller cup to mix in. And I'm going to put my magenta for my sky, my pink sky. Let's make sure that's shaken. Right in there. And then I am going to grab, if I can find my fork, maybe I'm just going to use a skewer. There's a skewer. And I'm going to spread that all over the top of that. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to put a black bottom on. And so I'm going to put black and white paint in that other dustpan. I'm going to bring forward, with any luck, my 16 by 20 inch canvas. Well, you know what? I should show you this. So I did a seascape before, black and white. I thought it was going to be mountains. And it turned out to be a rolling black sea. And what I did not do the last time was spread a layer of paint across the sky area first. I'm going to save back the rest of that pink because I may swipe and I may basting brush, but I'd like it to be a simpler process. It's already not a simpler process, but we'll see what happens. So let's give me a layer of white paint and a big smiley face. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's like 87 degrees out here. And so I'm a little weird. It's when it gets warm, I get strange. Okay, somebody said like, when are you not strange? But I heard you. <laughs> I heard you. I know. I know you know I'm strange. So I want this to go down as far as I can make it go and s maintain some sort of wetness. But if I spread it out too thin with this wonderful OXO omelet turning, omelet flipping, flip and fold, a flip and fold omelet turning OXO spatula, available on my Amazon rank, link. Um, if I make it too thin, it won't do what I need it to do. And I'm basically going to dump that dustpan right in the middle and see if I can tip it and hope that there's enough paint there. And I'm inclined to just add a little more white. And I may use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst. What are they called? I see that. Mini blades. I see all that. Where did that come from? Probably off the bottom of some of my... That's weird. I don't want that in there. All right, so here we go. And I'm just going to twiddle my dustpan around so that I sort of change the texture of the designs. And like I said, I held back some of that magenta in the white, which bubbled up and made some pretty nice cells, I gotta say. But the magenta by Golden is what I use, and it always does. There's the, there are the cells, just magnificent. I am going to take as much of this paint as I can and hope that I can save the rest of it in case I need it for the edges. And I've got a couple of edge catchers. See how far I can get without an edge catcher. I may swipe too. I may use my spatula to swipe just to integrate some of my sky. And I'm going to keep an eye out. That looks more like a bubble for anything that doesn't belong, like bugs, because it's definitely the season for bugs. I can use an edge catcher. You could probably get away with not using an edge catcher for quite a while. And tipping the sky in places a whole lot. I just did one of these yesterday with a purple sky. It's a whole lot like moving a ring pour around. But this is basically just to cover and see how much paint I need. I thought I had enough. And maybe if I'd used that whole shot glass, I probably would have. I see that thing. I saw that thing. I lost the thing I saw. Okay, well, I'll find it again. Believe me, it'll find me. 
So let's just let this paint go right over the edge and form a puddle along the edge, which kind of seals the canvas for the paint. And then I let it roll down, I give a brief rock of the edge to cover it. And then I send it all back and it makes like a separate front. And it flows right across. And in this case, I'm going to flow it down. And I can also use the paint off my edge catcher. In a moment, I may do that, actually. Oh, there's something. I saw it. It was heavy. So let's just keep that right there and flow this across. I'm going to move a couple things out of my way so I can grab that paint and show you what I'm talking about. So here's my edge catcher and there's my arm. And here comes the OXO omelet turning spatula and probably any lump I didn't remove from there. And I'm just going to put that paint right back in because there's no need to waste it. It's still perfectly good paint. Plus it cleans up my edge catcher for whatever I might want to use it for next. Not that that's that important right now. So, yeah, well it is, it is actually, because <laughs> I'm going to turn it around and use it to do, whoa, okay, all that paint on that turntable is going right in the top. It's a little bit of a messy process for sure. And I'm going to pick up that edge catcher again and press it just ever so slightly. Let everything flow up. Now if I can do the bottom fast enough, the truth is I can move my spatula, especially since it's just pink and white. And my bottom half, I think I'm going to use Prussian blue. I was going to use black. I might use a black background. Oh, right down my arm. Hey, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I caught it before it went too far. It's going to be messy. which is pretty par for the course, honestly. If you're doing fluid art already, you know that. And if you're not, you should. It's a messy process. So I see something over there, and this time I can actually get it out. It's rather large. So this is my sky, and my theory is that if I spread the sky out far enough, and I might have a quick torch, then I can also put my bottom in without as much worrying. I was trying to save time, but I'm not feeling much like I've saved much time. And I'm going to just keep taking my paint back and putting it in the bottom. And I might even indulge myself by spreading some of that right across. Because it's not that much thicker than what's above it. Now if I want something else in there, I could put, put something else in there. And I think the last time I did this, I grabbed one of these number three Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas. And I just put some spirals in that imitated the look of a cloud. Not that it's going to do it now. But we shall see. I've got another edge catcher, so I don't need to worry about that. I do want to take the rest of my paint off my spatula, throw it in the bucket, probably wipe my arm off. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Use the paint I've got to go up the edge. Check my top. My top's pretty well covered. I do see something in here that looks a little weird. Might as well change it up, add some, add some clouds. I have extra long bendy straws and I did actually put them on my uh, Amazon link, which is right below the link tree. 
Well, it's on the link tree. It's below the video. Right above Show More. So I'm kind of liking that. Not that. There's quite a bit more paint there than I was anticipating, actually. Which is act probably not the worst thing in the world because what that means is that I can still move it around a little, which means bringing that edge catcher back again. If I don't particularly love the pattern I've got, I'll just move it. And I'm gonna use up far too much time messing around with this. But every time I tilt, I find something new I want to pull out of my paint. Come here you, whatever you are. So it still makes me want to swipe a little bit. But I don't want to use my square front. I want to use the round one. Just to make it mine. And it may still tilt. I know I'll tilt the bottom, so the top is going to move no matter what I do. And last time I did this with the pink and the black and the white, it was kind of cool that uh, some of the gray from the bottom got in. I'm going to wash those up really quick and take that paint off my arm. Thank you for being patient. And now I'm going to grab my Prussian blue, which I just, just mixed up. And I'm going to quick like a bunny grab another spatula. Now the thing about the Prussian blue is it will definitely cover anything. You may have some light spots, but it's almost impossible not to get this stuff on everything. I, I definitely am going to be having some issues with cleaning it off my fingers. Now I need to move quickly. And I've never done this with the Prussian Blue. I did it with the black last time. So I really don't know how it's going to work. And the thing about it is, is tipping and making stripes are kind of different than cells. And the Prussian Blue um, the Prussian Blue makes cells with the white very easily. So I'm just going to use the extra paint I've got. I'm going to go all the way up as far as I can. Hey, I'm done! Cool! <laughs> well, I kind of like pulling that white down. It looks like a big wave, which is not really what I had in mind. And I could leave that. Check it out. It's pretty cool. I'm going to wash my spatula off so I can actually get paint off of it. Because I've just told you Prussian blue is... Prussian blue is the B word! <laughs> now let's grab some... Let's grab the same dust dustpan so I don't get, have to get another one dirty. And I'm even going to go so far as to grab another, my last spatula. Oh no! And I've got that pink that I didn't use. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to put some white and some blue. And I probably could have used a shovel to do this now that I'm thinking about it. So back and forth a few layers. I hope this works. I really need to put a skewer in there. I have a fork around here somewhere, and the basting brush should probably work. And I want more blue. I want another blue, too. I'm just greedy that way. Okay. I've got colors, and I'm, I want to use them. And I like that second blue. And I'm going to need another spatula, and I have it, fortunately. Whoa, what's that? Nothing that belongs.
Now I think I probably didn't use enough paint. But I did not want an excess. That's going in the bucket. Both of those things are. Actually, I just wipe off my spatula because I might want that again in a minute. That looks like a wave too. Yes, I have a mess, and where is my other edge catcher? Right here. It's pulling up some of my lolofy skins. I could definitely add some more paint in there without a problem. Let's do that. Because I'm going to run out of time at some point. Well, actually, I've got eight minutes left, so I'm okay for now. But I definitely wanted to add some more paint. And maybe it's time to add the Prussian blue again, too. Just run the skewer back and forth. That makes some pretty cool patterns, huh? That's neat. I like that. Let's start going this way. I'll have to remember that. I want it to go down, too. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys I do sell my art. Whoops, I lost a little paint. That's okay, I can put it right back in. And uh, thank you for sharing my videos. This just looks like a big crashing wave to me. That's great. Wow. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to that. So I love you guys. And there's 87,000 of you. I might put a little bit... Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just steal some white. And put it right there. And now I've got a crashing wave. And why not? I'll connect these two. I might steal a little paint with my skewer. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's way different than the other one. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out. If you want to be included in the monthly drawing for a painting, you should look on the end screens of any video for the exhibition video. And it will show you what those prizes are. I have over 1,450 videos, and they are organized by genre on playlists, on creative playlists. You can find them by topic and by the hundred. I just made a 1,400 list. Love that. Love that crashing wave. That is so cool. I love accidental art. I really do. I discover and learn something new every time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the wonderful comments. Thank you so much for keeping me painting all this time with your generous contributions. And I really, really got to tell you, I appreciate that so much. Plus, your comments are morale boosting. The good thing about this blue is I can actually use it to touch up my... little bit of canvas without it showing. But I kind of like the edges showing. It's a little bit like watercolor. Now, I have a crib sheet somewhere but I seem to have misplaced it. And I should tell you guys more stuff, but uh, you'll find everything on the link tree underneath the video. And I told you I loved you, and there's maybe I didn't tell you, but there's 87,000 of you subscribed, and I'm hoping you can see all of that. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and I'm going to look for my crib sheet in a second, because I really kind of need that. I get a little heat prostrated out of here. Let's see what you can see. I can't see in the monitor today. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully you can see that. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Out. See ya.